Hi, my name is Afna. Uh, today I want to talk about my home kit in more detail. This kit is already three months old. Currently, I have uh, tilapia fingerlings, barb, and a few goldfish in it. Okay, this setup is using a three, a four by three by one point five feet plastic tank for the fish and uh, the growth bit is made out of uh, 3 by 2 by 1 uh, plastic tank also and I put the uh, gravel in it as a growth bit right I use a single pump this is a 12 watt pump and um, it's been doing quite well so far no problem except uh, whenever there is some uh, algae build up or fish food debris uh, they tend to uh, reduce the water flow but this is normal for small pump so you just need to clean it okay i have the pump outside one of the same pump outside this is the pump and uh, I don't know whether you can see it, it's a 12 watt uh, power head, a very small one. And this is, I think, around 10 US dollar for this pump. It's very small and sufficient for the home kit. Right, the uh, water from the pump will go up into the growth bin I make a hole and have it uh, fit through towards the growth bin and it come up somewhere here this is a new type of uh, water fit I just made up it doesn't really matter how you introduce the water into the road bit but best to have it uniformly distributed because I do not have any filter uh, or pre-filter in between the pump and the water in there the siphon is the same siphon the auto siphon that uh, or the bell siphon that I made and uh, you can see from my earlier videos explaining the function or the operation of this siphon this is the one with the reducer uh, adapter to reduce the stem pipe diameter from a larger diameter to a smaller diameter which will make the water flow or water control better if you can see there is the drip hole water a slow a small leak hole that will have the water dripping out and that serves as an indication that the pump is working and also it's also used for when I switch off the pump at night okay if there's a problem with the pump you can see from my earlier video that you just use your bottle brush to clean the internal and uh, exterior of the stand pipe that's all with bottle brush the bell or the bell buff covering the lower part is for water inlet and the air to cut off Water outlet from the siphon will underneath the roofing and just uh, going down and towards the L pipe and uh, elbow and just out back. I made a slight alteration to the uh, bell valve outlet by adding this tank adapter. The reason is that as the uh, pump weaken, I need to have a, a 
better restriction, a slight restriction required for the water flowing out. Uh, this will help the pump so that uh, with weakening of the pump, it will still uh, flush without any problem. Otherwise, I may have a problem with water not flushing. And uh, previously, I would just use a normal elbow without any uh, tank adapter and uh, this is okay if the pump does not uh, weaken by prolonged usage and uh, by addition of this tank adapter what it does is just to slightly restrict the water flow and the water going out will be slightly uh, restricted or block and uh, you have a better control of the, the cycle. I switch off the pump at night and uh, at the same time uh, the aerator is switched on because uh, there's a lot of uh, tilapia fingerlings in here and they need the uh, oxygen in the water. So at night I will switch on the aerator. It's quite a low power aerator around 4 watt aerator. Reason why I choose a very low wattage system one is because uh, we try to reduce the make it cost saving, reduce the electricity usage. Another thing is I intend to design a system using solar so to use solar electricity if the pump is such a heavy or high wattage pump it will be more expensive or more difficult to design and having a very low capacity pump and a low wattage pump it will be much easier. The running cost of this uh, setup in terms of electricity bill is about uh, in the Malaysian ringgit is about 10 cent. So in a month uh, for this particular setup we only pay about 3 ringgit that's about 80 cent US dollar per month. It's less than 1 US dollar a month to run this setup by using a uh, uh, 12 watt pump and a uh, 4 watt aerator at night which is very low power requirement and my intention is to have it uh, run from solar cell and that's the reason why I'm experimenting with such a low power system you can have a bigger growth bin with this size of tank. Uh, the only difference is that uh, the period or the interval between flush will be longer because it takes uh, longer time to fill up the growth rate. It doesn't hurt the system. In fact, I would recommend uh, to have a bigger growth rate to maximize on the, uh, the fish uh, water. I use uh, 200 kg of gravel it's about 10 bags of gravel and it's uh, not exactly river, river pebbles but uh, I mix the bigger and the smaller size to make it uh, better the smaller pebbles will not be that good to uh, hold the plants and the uh, bigger one is by themselves will be quite difficult to work on because they are quite big so i just mix them about half half As you can see the flushing is keep on going keep going on without any problem and um, you just need to ensure the pump is clean once in a while, maybe once a month or once in two months and uh, clean uh, 
Uh, the valve bolt is nearly when you suspect there is a blockage. It's best to clean it when you see there is no water dripping out from the leak, uh, from the leak hole. If you do not see any water from the leak hole, it's, that's the best time to clean it. Okay, uh, that's about our for now and I hope you have uh, benefit from watching this uh, short video and uh, I hope I'll be making more explanation on the aquaponics setup that I have in my backyard. Thank you very much. Bye.